Most of us understand innovations or inventions as something that has to do with the most intelligent people, the most educated people. But now I try to differ. All these things originate in the mind. Okay? So ideas is the basis for innovation. All inventions we have seen ever since the dawn of the age are simply because of the ideas that people had and they had to work on them in order to come up with something that was necessary for the community. But then, the sad thing is that in the capacity of most dreamers, many people do not achieve to produce a feasible product out of their ideas. This is basically because of the challenges that people face when they attempt to turn an idea into a product. However, I believe that with innovation, almost everything is possible. So in other words, I live in a world of possibilities. So the power of innovation can, in this way, never be underemphasized. This is because innovation is directly linked to performance as well as growth through improvements in efficiency, productivity, as well as quality of product or even services. I would like to give uh, an example of a guy who inspires me the most in Malawi. This guy was born in 1987, but he got famous in 2002 after innovating his society despite his poor education background. This guy is none other than the one on the picture, William Kankwamba, the guy who harnessed the wind. So despite that this guy had some problems with education, but he still had to do something for his society. So this gives us a spirit of possibility that education is not necessarily a prerequisite for one to innovate. You can still benefit the people around you even if you don't go to school. So what this guy did was that he came up with a windmill and he was able to generate electricity as well as pump water for the people around his community. So all what we're saying here really begins in the mind, in the heart. Okay? So it is the responsibility of every youth around these premises or even out there and even to the other continents of the world that we embrace this spirit of innovation. So particularly for Malawi as a nation, for us to move forward, it is also the responsibility of the nation to be an advocate of innovation. In this way, we can even inspire our counterparts in the Sadiq region and the rest of Africa to take a step forward towards the notion for innovation. But however, the greatest challenge in our societies, especially here in Africa, is that the way we perceive innovation really hinders some of the potential innovators. This is because we still have the kind of no way thinking. Okay? We still have the kind of thinking that we can never successfully come up with our own technology and use that technology to come up with uh, solutions to the problems that we face day to day. So reaching this far, I would like to introduce to you one of the innovations that I have worked on in this year. So this innovation was uh, discovered by chance, or I should say accidentally. So this innovation is what I am calling it the ash battery. Okay, so this is making use of the ordinary ash that we get after we have burnt charcoals, firewood, uh, tree leaves, and even the papers in our offices. I have tested with so many ash, it still works, as long as it's ash from plants. Okay, so this battery uh, is basically composed of the ash itself and some a few connecting wires. In particular, we are using uh, copper and aluminium as our connecting wires. So for one to make this battery, all you need to have is the ash, water, aluminium, and copper wires. So what you do is that you dissolve a quantity of ash in a given volume of water, 
until you make up a purse. Then you take that purse and put it up in a plastic container where it is held. And then you take uh, these two wires, that is the copper and the aluminum. You dip it inside the ash, which is in paste-like form. And then you create your own small cell. So from this cell, uh, as you can see it from the picture, we are able to get about 1.124 volt. But then we had to think, how do we then make up a battery out of the cell? So we had to make a series connection of about 12 cells. So as you can see, those uh, were the 12 cells connected in series. And from this connection, we are able to get 12.1 volt, as you can see from the digital multimeter on the picture. So with this voltage, we're able to sustain a small radio receiver for listening to radios at home for a period of about two to three days. But however, we were having some challenges as regards to the power of the battery. This was because the battery itself has a greater internal resistance. Due to the greater internal resistance, the battery was not able to successively give out or its uh, was not successfully to give up all its power in simple terms. Okay, so we're getting a very small current because the internal resistance of the battery was too low. So we are working towards eliminating the internal resistance of the battery so that we can power as bigger things as we would want to. So this innovation, I believe, comes at the light time that most of the people in the rural areas, especially those who live uh, who are in low economic statuses really hardly sustain their electrical appliances, uh, especially when it comes to battery power. So with this innovation, it means that most of the people in the rural areas will be able to power up their electrical appliances like small torch and even their radio uh, for listening to radios without necessarily buying anything. But for this battery, all you need to buy are the connecting wires. And we have been able to approximate the cost, depending on the markets today, the cost for the battery to look like the way you've seen it is about 40 to 50 cents in the US dollars, which is not more than 300 kwacha in the local currency. This innovation also is in line with uh, the government uh, program which is now called Beautify Malawi, which is uh, making use of the West to come up with helpful products. So ash, as we have already known it from our childhood, is something that we regard it as a waste. So we are now trying to generate electricity out of what we call waste, in this case, the ash. So I now prompt you to think. As the youth of this nation, as the youth of your respective nations, will you join me towards this movement of innovation so that our world can really become the way we wish? It is really our responsibility to engage into activities pertaining to engineering, science, as well as technology, so as we should be able to sort out some of the small problems that we face day to day in our lives. I am confident that if the essence of innovation is well realized and understood, Malawi can soon become an inspiration to the whole world in as far as innovation is concerned. So the big questions are, if not now, when shall we then innovate? And if not for you and me, who else shall innovate? But as for me, I am innovation. Thank you.